Peru, it's a great country. So beautiful, lovely people. When this, this situation with this virus broke out, the COVID-19 virus, Peru reacted quickly. It was admirable. They made a little video about the Peruvians applauding. At the beginning of the curfews, they had curfews here. It was 8 p.m. They'd be, they'd be clapping, playing music. March 22nd, 8 p.m. curfew kicking off. The Peruvians are applauding. They dutifully followed all the recommendations. They started, you know, using social distancing. Oh, they were very careful about that. Yeah, Peru, mask mandate heaven. Everybody's got a mask on. A lady coming out of the car. Yep, there's a guy at the door of an establishment. People socially distance. They all have masks on. He comes out. He's got a mask on. He's got a thermometer. He's taking temperatures. He's spraying their hands with alcohol, some disinfectant. They step on a pad with disinfectant feet, plexiglass before the cashiers, people and staff with, uh, with visors on as well as masks. Stores, large and small, people would line up about five and a half feet apart. They would just take care of everything they had to do. So. They didn't go to the beach. They stepped, They kept the, the streets clear on Sunday. There was a curfew on Sunday. Some days, men could leave their houses. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. On Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays, women could leave only their home. You couldn't be with more than one person from your family. Taking temperatures. The whole thing with washing your feet before you enter an establishment. Wash your hands. It's unbelievable. Anyway, they try to take care of things with masks and visors. You get on a bus, waiting for a bus. You have to have your visor. You get on the bus. You have your visor on, your mask on. And they got dead serious about 55,000 plus arrests. People busted for not wearing masks, breaking curfew. It was not a joke. And so what happened? Well, today, Peru has the strange distinction of being one of the champion countries in COVID-19 infections. That's correct. Peru got inundated with COVID-19. Inundated. Think tsunami. They have the distinction of having the highest death rate in the world. And the most amazing thing, Peru, suffering catastrophe enough, having seen over 30,000 deaths in this country, country of approximately 33 million. Peru, according to the Prime Minister, Walter Martos, said on September 30th, that it looks as if one-third of Peru's population may have COVID-19 antibodies. That's correct. Cabinet Chief Walter Martos stated that between 30 and 35 percent of the population has probably already been exposed, which could mean that an eventual second wave of infections will be less destructive to the country's health system and economy. I guess they call this herd immunity. This all goes to what I've said before about the need for us to get real about the COVID-19 Chinese virus. We can't let it destroy our economies, nor can we fight this thing from the standpoint of avoiding infection. Would it be worth it? Eventually, we're all going to get sick and move on from it. So if you're all bent out of shape about what's going on with COVID-19 in the United States, don't be. Don't get on anybody's case about whether they've got a mask on or not. We've tried it in Peru, and look where it's left us. If you're mad at anybody, don't be mad at Trump. He didn't start this. It's that Winnie the Pooh guy in China. It's his baby. It's on him. So just remember, the masks, the visors, all the measures, they're just not doing it. So let's get off this kick. Let's open up the economy and the country get back to work and protect those who are most at risk. And let's take care of what we have to do, which is being able to have a powerful economy again.